All right, artists, for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do two different kinds of triangular horn shapes. So if you wanted to add some kind of big decorative horn on top of your head or use these as like even making like big teeth, like a tusk for an elephant or a boar, uh, these would be some good ways you can go about doing that as opposed to just cutting out a triangle shape and sticking it on. If you have something small enough, that would work, but maybe you don't want it to be quite so floppy. So the first one is a little bit on the easier side. What you'll do is first fold your paper in half and you're gonna want to, you're gonna leave a little bit at the bottom there, like cut a little part for a rectangle. And then you wanna cut up towards the top in a diagonal line. So you have a nice point. Then for that part where you cut out a little bit of a rectangle, that's about how far you will cut right in the middle. Give that a little fold, give that a little fold. Now what that will let you do is you can actually put these one on top of the other, crisscross them, and that will make a flat surface, which will make it easy for you to glue that onto your mask. And it will help to keep this pointed shape. It'll keep it in this triangular shape. It won't be so floppy. So we'll just put a little bit of glue in there and just like with all the cone shapes that we've done before, you can go out all the way till the corner hits the side, or you can make it a little bit looser, depending on how wide you want your horn to look. We'll just go all the way in, and pinch for a good 20 seconds or so, and that should be enough to keep that in place. And then you put a little bit of glue in the bottom, put that onto your mask, and there you go. This is a good one that I've used before on my in-process one, making some crazy teeth. Same idea of folding a triangular shape. So that's the quick one. The other one takes a little bit of practice to do. Uh, instead of just making a pointed triangle, like a folded open at the back, we're gonna make more of a rounded kind of horn. So for this, what we're gonna be doing is a lot of rolling. Oh, it's almost like you're gonna be doing a cylinder. In fact, you may want to kind of wrap your paper up that way, get it into a rounded shape, just to help the paper get used to being in a curve. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of twisting it back and forth so that the paper is shifting a little bit kind of just get it used to being in a round shape. So it tend, it wants to stay that way. Then what you'll do is going up in the corner, you're gonna to start to roll that over and try to keep it in a point. It's almost like you're twisting that around and keeping this little point here and tuck that in as close as you can and it's like rolling a cylinder, but now you want to keep squeezing down this corner so that it makes a point. Keep that going. Get a little glue ready on the end. Make sure I spread that out really good. No puddles. Bring that right around. So hopefully you'll have your end in a nice point. You'll have to hold that part down for your 20 seconds to make sure your glue dries really well. And this makes a, let's see if I can show it in a good way, this makes a pretty decent cone shape, a pretty nice point on it. Now it does have this part that's open, so a couple of things you could do. You could trim this part off, so that it's a little bit easier to work with to glue it. Or you put this toward the back of your mask so you can't see it quite as much. Once I get this to stay, there we go. Now I'm actually going to keep that open spot because I want mine to be nice and long like this. But in order to now glue it onto the surface of my mask, I need a flat space to glue it to. So what I'll actually do for this I kind of flatten it out just a bit at the end so that I can make this a little bit smoother. There we go. 
go. So now two methods you can use to attach something like this with a top edge onto a mask. You could take little scrap pieces, glue it to the inside of your cone, press it down flat, and then glue that down to your mask. That's an option. Um, if you don't mind cutting a little bit into your cone, what I would recommend is you go around the edge and just cut just a little bit into it. Just a little bit. And then you can fold that down and give that a little fold and give that a little fold. And what this will do is this will create a little bit of a platform on the inside of your cone that you can put the glue on to glue it onto your mask. And by leaving that side open a little bit, it lets you sneak your fingers in there to help hold it in place. So that might be a good idea too, to leave that little bit of an opening because then you can kind of get your hand in there to really hold it against your mask and make it stay. So there are two possible ways of doing horns or teeth or whatever kind of sharp pointed object you want on your mask, folding it, doing a little triangle or rolling it into a cone. I hope that helped you out a little bit and I can't wait to see what you do with it.